Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain about the conversions of canonical forms from min term to max term and max term to min term. In the previous video, I told you what do you mean by min term and what do you mean by max term. Min term is nothing but sum of products. Min term is nothing but a product form. And max term is nothing but a addition form. Okay, product form and addition form. That is nothing but A plus B I am saying. That is a that is a max term. A, B if I say that is a min term. Okay, that is the way of identifying a product of sum, uh, sum of products and product of sums are min term and a max term. Suppose you are asked to convert a min term into max term or max term into min term. Okay, we have a chance to convert min term into max term and as well as max term into min term. That means if I say a b that can be converted into min term like a bar plus b bar. Just the complement of this one is the result. Min term complement, min term if you take the min term and apply complement then you will get max term and take max term and apply complement you will get min term. Okay. In the De Morgan's theorem, we have studied that complement of AB bar. What is the complement of AB bar that we are writing it as? A bar into A bar plus B bar. See, product will be converted into plus and this bar will be splitted on these two variables. This one we have studied in the De Morgan's theorem. The same we are going to apply here to convert a min term into max term and max term into min term. Suppose for example, you are given with, for example, you are given with f of a comma b comma c that is given as summation of min term of 0, 2, 4, 6, 7. This is the min term equation. Okay, this has complement that can be expressed as This has a complement a complement that can be expressed as that can be expressed as so f of a comma b comma c all complement is equal to summation of m of 1, 3, 5. 1, 3, 5 that is equal to m1 plus m3 plus m5. Now, if we take the complement of, now if we take the <coughs> Complement of F bar, complement of this one by De Morgan's theorem, as I said earlier, by De Morgan's theorem, we obtain, we obtain F in a different form, in a different form. That is nothing but max term. So F is equal to if you take M1 plus M3 plus M5 whole complement that will be taking it as M1 bar into M3 bar into M5 bar from De Morgan's theorem. So M1 bar is nothing but capital M1 capital M3 <coughs> capital M5 that is equal to some uh, pi of pi of m of 1 3 5 check now see now what happened f is equal to pi of m of 1 3 5 pi of m of 1 3 5 for the same it is given as in the sum summation of m of 0 2 4 6 7 0 4 0 2 4 6 7 what are the elements left here see 0 to 7 is there 
three variables are there how many total number of values will come combinations eight combinations eight means zero to seven listen carefully eight means zero to seven okay eight combinations are there eight combinations are there that means zero to seven in this zero to seven what what are the min terms present over here zero is present 2 is present, 4 is present, 6 is present, 7 is present. That means all these are min terms. All these are min terms. That means all these outputs are 1s. All these outputs are 1s. Remaining are zeros. Remaining are zeros, isn't it? Remaining are zeros. See, which is left here? 1 is left here. 3 is mystery here. 5 is mystery here. Remaining all are there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Total 8 variables are coming. Now, if these five values gives one in the output, remaining three values gives zero in the output, isn't it? Remaining three values are zeros in the output. So remaining three values zeros are nothing but those three are max terms. Those three are max terms. I told you already max terms gives zero output, min terms gives one output. So one, three, five are the max terms. So directly by seeing the expression itself, we can take them as max terms, pi of m of 1 comma 3 comma 5. That is what we have got here as well. Suppose for example, see another example, for example, I am taking pi of m of 1, 5, 7, something like 8, 10. Then if you are asked to draw the, if you are asked to identify what are the min terms for this one and min terms will be given as, min terms will be given as sum of, summation of m of, see, g 1 is given and up to 10 it is given. Actually, if values are up present up to 7, we can consider it as 3 variable. Okay, no need to verify for the variables also. If f is given directly, f is equal to, then this is also f is equal to. Okay, how many variables it is not mentioned here? f of a comma b comma c comma d, it is not mentioned here. Okay, if it is mentioned directly, we can say it is for 4 variables. By seeing the expression, by seeing the min terms also, we can say, see, 10 is given. What is the maximum uh, combinations that we can cover in the 10? 16 combinations. So, out of 16 combinations, whichever number present over here, that will be taken as min term. Remaining all are max terms. So, so 0, 2 is missing, 3 is missing, 4 is missing, 5 is there, 6, 7, 8, 9 is there, 10 is there, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. All are max terms. All are min terms. And remaining all our max terms so like that we can write okay so with this uh, let us do one example problem expand expand actually this type of expansions and uh, conversions from max term to min terms and min terms or min terms to max terms all such conversions and uh, expansions are known as canonical forms canonical form so a plus b bar to min terms and max terms min terms and max terms so let us do this one so take the given expression a bar plus b bar that is equal to a bar a bar c in this expression in the first form a bar b is not there by seeing the expression we can understand only two variables are there but b is not there in the first form so it is a bar b plus b bar plus here it is a plus a bar into b bar so it is a bar b plus a bar b bar plus a b bar plus a bar b bar okay now every variable is there in this one but if you say this one and this one these two are repeated 
so we can take only once a bar b bar plus a bar b plus a b bar okay what is the uh, relevant corresponding number for this one this is 0 0 plus this is 0 1 plus this is 1 0 that means except last 1 1 remaining all 3 are there so 0 0 is nothing but 0 and 0 1 is nothing but 1 1 0 is nothing but 2 so we can represent that given expression f is equal to summation of m of these three 0 1 2 okay if you are asked to write max term also remaining three will be the max term only m3 will be the max term the same can be written for max term f is equal to pi of capital m of three because only four combinations are there 0 1 2 means only four combinations are there for two variables a comma b so pi of m comma 3 is nothing but your max term this is min terms and this is max terms this is max term okay so in this way we can identify the min terms and max terms in the given expressions and separate them thank you